Hello chickens, very warm welcome to my channel. It's Angela here of course, and I'm here to bring you a little Christmas project to go into your journal. Now, I will say that I don't know if this video is going out on Friday or Sunday. I'm waiting on something to arrive for my mini journal. So if you're seeing this today, then that means the mini journal <laughs> item didn't wasn't delivered. Um, and if you're seeing it on Sunday, well then that's great. You've already seen the mini journal <laughs> launch. So either way, you're going to see it in the next day or two. Right, I've got a little um, peace offering <laughs> just in case, but anyway, I was going to give this and I haven't given put a freebie out in my Facebook group for quite a while. And because it's Christmas and the season of giving, I wanted to give you the first giveaway that I'm going to be giving you this month. I will be doing another one in about um, a couple of, well, just over a week. All right, so here's the first one. And we're going to make a project with it and it's going to go into our Christmas journal. All right. So it doesn't matter if you're using my kit, your own kit or whatever you're using. It doesn't matter. It's going to go with anything because it's the Christmas shades. So there we go. Right. I am actually going to put it into this signature and I'm going to put it onto this tea stain page. We did put a project on this side, which was lovely. And I think I actually did. No, that's right. Okay, so I'm actually going to put it on this side. All right, I'm going to take the page out. Um, and I know it has to go in the middle there. So that's all right. I've taken the rest of the signature out. It's on the side here. So um, that went in there. I don't know why. I'm going to just go like that and put it up there. Right, enough chattering. Okay, so that's where we're going to put it. I'm just going to put that to this side, lots of sides going on here, and show you what we are going to do today using my first little freebie for November. Right, so I've put a little kit together for you. Um, this is available in a PDF format. Um, it's two pages. You can pick this up in my Facebook group um, as a digital. Um, if you're wanting this as a printed option, I will join it together with the other freebie that I'm doing. And obviously I can't print and post for free. But if you're wanting that, I will put it at a very, very reasonable price in my website shop. All right. So um, this is what we're going to be using today. So we've got three pockets here. We've got some little embellishments to go on them. And then I have put together uh, three little tags. You'll see that I had a similar thing, but a lot smaller for last year. I've then made these two into the size I used for last year because I did actually use them to make little pockets to fit into my journal pages with the numbers. So that's what I did there. So if you wanted to do that, you could do that. Um, these I'm going to turn into tags. All right. So... You want to use some kind of a background page. If you've just got a tea stain page, that will be great um, because that's what I did. I cut these out. Well, I first stuck the, the background page on and then I cut these out. All right. So you want to cut these three and you want to cut everything on that page out, which I have done already. All right. So that's the freebie. As I said in my Facebook group, you'll pick it up there. Um, and that should be in there by the time this video launches. Right, I'm going to put this to the side. Lots of sides going on here. I've got so much going on on my desk in very organized little piles, I might add, because it's all different, all the different projects. Right, so here's the tags. Okay, I have cut them out. I've put on a background page and um, I have sewn around them. But of course, you don't have to sew around them. The thread's bugging me. Um, and then I've just put a little Christmas circle in there. That's about three quarters of an inch. Put an eyelet in and a ribbon. So that's what I've done with those. They're going to be little tags. It's jingle bells, peace and cheer. Right. So that's what you need. I've cut out my little pockets here. So we've got all three of them. I've inked them up. And again, I have printed a background page on here. But that's the only bit you're going to see. So, you know, once you've inked it, actually, you don't need anything. So I don't even recommend doing that. I just think, you know, just take your distress inker and go around there. I have just put some distress ink on that side and then these corners here. We're not going to see this side, but if you wanted to make floating little pockets to go into your journal, you could do that. Okay, 
So we've got these three as well. And then I've cut out their little embellishments. And then the only other things I've grabbed are some little die cuts. I've got a couple of snowflakes here, a gold, a red, and then a small golden red. Also from last year, I haven't actually made any Christmas die cuts very many at all. I've got a little green piece there, a little green bit of foliage there, and those are the two hollies that I've put on the freebie. All right, so that's what you need. Now, um, to, what I'm going to do with these is the following. I'm going to do a little bit of stamping. I'm just using my shades that I've chosen to use for Christmas, which are these three. So a green, this is a Rustic Wilderness, Rusty Hinge, and Lumberjack Plaid. So those are the colors. And then I've just grabbed my Stampers Anonymous stamps. This one's called Mini Swirly Snowflakes. It's CMS320 and all the details for this. Sorry, I've got my LED light on because it's really dark and it's not even four o'clock. <laughs> so sorry about the shine. Um, this is on my Amazon favorite tool. So if you're wanting to know anything about what I use, all my favorite things are on there. The links for that in the description box below at the very bottom of the video. Right, I want to open this up quickly. This is the side I'm going to be using. Just to open my pouch here and I want to just see uh, where I want to put these. Now I'm not going to put many. This is just really the corners of things and I'm just looking for a piece of scrap paper. That's fine. I just don't want to get this ink on my board. Now I'm going to go with this one. I'm just picking them randomly. I will start with a bit of gold. Let's go with a bit of gold first. Well, it's like a rusty rust color. So a bit of bronzy gold, brass, brassy. That's the word. So I'm just using this. I'm going to just, um, I think put it over here yeah let's move this over right so we'll have you here like that yeah and I'll just use the same one again I'm not going to go because there's just little peaks of this popping out here and there I'm not going to put it all over the place right I'm going to put this over here like that Oh, I like that. Right. So that's fun. Where's the lid gone? <laughs> oh, it's underneath. Gosh, what am I like? Okay, so we'll um, put that one back. I'll clean these afterwards. I can't be bothered now. I'm then going to go with this one. Put a little bit of red on. So we'll just press that on there like that and I do like this lumberjack color right I'm gonna have a little bit more at the top corner here oh Amazon's arrived my daughter's getting it we're all right <laughs> okay um and then I think one at the bottom somewhere I'm just making this up as I go <laughs> I quite like that. I mean, you can make such pretty patterns on paper just with the stamps, couldn't you? I think, and then I'm going to just add a bit of green um, on two bits there. So we'll take a slightly smaller one. So we've got this one. And we'll move the red out the way. Um, and that will sort our base of our page out. So we've just got Christmas colours here, and I really like these. These are my fave for Christmas. The red's not pillar box red, which I quite like. Right, I'm going to have uh, this one here. All right, that's it. Plenty. Let's put this... To the side as well right we're going to get on with our little project now what you want to do is you want to fold these they've got little fold lines very fine white lines there if you can't see them just where it goes in when you cut it out just run your bone folder along there now what you need to remember is these need to fold in and this needs to fit on top all right 
So let's just do that. We want to put some glue down the side there and there. Just like that. Okay, so don't put the flaps on the top, put them underneath. Okay. Oh, I need to <clears throat> clear my throat. Sorry. All right, so we have got our three little pockets. They're all nicely um, glued. And I think what I'm going to do is stick them down um, straight away. All right, so I'm just going to put my finger in there. It's easy. And then I'm going to glue the whole thing. Now, because we're putting tags into the pocket, I'm not going to uh, make another pocket behind. I suppose you could, but I'm not going to do that. So we're just going to stick those down. And this is how I'm going to place it. So I'm going to get this one just sort of there. All right. Quite near the top. Now, I suggest that um, place them first before you stick them down. And then what I would do is, and what I have done here, um, is make little pencil marks where you want them to go. And that way you get them where you want them. All right. So again, I'm going to put the gold one. Um, just to the side here and um, by sticking them down first then you can also see where your embellishments need to go and then this one I want to get it I think uh, yeah I'm gonna go a little bit just off the edge there I think that's fine and lapping that one like that Really easy project. I've done everything for you in this little freebie kit. There's not much that you need to do and you're going to have a page that looks just like mine pretty much. Yeah. How exciting is that? So this project is perfect. If you are not confident or new to this hobby, um, give this a go because I'm sure that you're going to love it and then you're going to be addicted <laughs> like we all are. Right. So I'm loving that already and we haven't done much to it. Okay, uh, what we want to do now is stick down a couple of bits. So what I thought was, I was going to take the red edged one. And I, I think I did, I cut these all out by hand. I haven't used a, a punch. Um, it was just go slowly and you can do it. I was going to put this one just over here. But I've got um, the red snowflake and this green piece of foliage that I want to um, just put in as well behind it so i think i'm going to and bear in mind you don't want anything to go over there where your tag is so with the snowflake i'm going to fit it just over there and over there like that i think and then i'm going to stick this this doesn't matter if it goes over because i'm not going to hamper anything i'm going to stick those two down just like that so let's start with this right that was lucky you can cut this snowflake off because we are going to stick this over. So if you feel comfortable doing that, that's all right. Then I want to get this one stuck down. And as I said, I don't mind that it's going to go off the end of the pocket there. Right. And now we can just put this one on top of that. Right. So I've made my little marks, uh, marks there. So hopefully I can see them. You want to get this straight. Well, you know, that's... Use those two marks as your guide. So there we go. We've got that down, looking good already. Now we want to come to this little one. I've got the little gingerbread um, collection there. And I've got a couple of goodies. So a little bit of light green foliage, which I'm going to get on just over here. And you can see it's going to lap over, but it doesn't matter. It just adds to it, I think. Um, and then I've got my little bit of... Uh, holly so we want to move that up a little bit and then I'm going to put the holly over there something like that or maybe this way probably that way yeah and then I'm going to stick these two somewhere over there let me do that quick right so I've stuck that down the two snowflakes and the middle bit and I'm just going to position this holly I think just this way like that yeah, so I'm quite happy with all of that so far. Okay, and then the last little one here, um, we've got a gold snowflake. And again, I don't mind if that goes off there a little bit. 
I think I will get that stuck down quickly. Right, so I'm going to go with this and get that just at the top there. And I love this little bit of glitter. Right, there we go. And then I've got a little sprig of red there I'm going to see and the other holly. And I wanted to get this Merry Christmas in here, but I'm just seeing if I do want to put a little bit of red there or not. Do I? Yeah, why not? <laughs> of course we do. You know, it's Christmas. You want all the bling you can fit on the page. <laughs> Getting my bling um, fix overload and everything, you know, because we'll be back to softish, muted tones <laughs> after the festivities. Right, so again, I don't want to get this too far down and I'm just seeing where I need this like that. And then I'm going to just get that in place over there so we've got our merry christmas sentiment love it there we go get that glue on and then we can just put that there awesome i don't know if i'm gonna have more i don't know if i want that over. I th maybe i do maybe i do who knows right <laughs> the last bit is sticking there we go that's it right so it does it's going to lap over that bit but that's okay because it's not the pocket bit i think i'll just prevent it from having to bend right so we've got that all stuck down yeah it looks a bit um ott but isn't it always it's the magic of christmas that's what it is so we're having fun right i can't see the top of my glue there we go right all that remains us uh, to do is to stick in these little goodies and there's no specific order i'm going to just put that one in there that one in there and that one in there and doesn't it just finish it off i like it right this goes like this we can grab our signature how quick was that yeah so quick and it looks gorgeous this now slides in there this goes in there we'll just tap it all together and admire it gosh that's a beautifully busy page but i actually like it and it's pretty flat that's a good thing isn't it right everyone that's our project for today i hope that you've enjoyed it if i haven't shown you the mini journals yet please look out for that in the very next video um and i i do apologize um but please go and collect your freebie from my facebook group um as i say um if you're not a member and you don't want to join that's all right if you hang on for until my uh, rachel and bella's collaboration which if you haven't seen any of the videos please go and support those lovely people they have made amazing projects for you it's um definitely worth a watch and i will be giving another freebie away so you can just wait and collect the whole lot that's a pretty big freebie as well all right so go and um have a go at this because i'd love to see what you do with it all right everyone have a fabulous weekend i will see you as i said on sunday um or or on Friday with, I don't know which one I'm going to do the video. So it's hard to say which day I am on at the moment. But um, thank you for watching. I appreciate you guys and your support and your kind words. Really does motivate me. And I couldn't do this without you. And I'll see you all very soon. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.